Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about tangent mate in uh, standard mates. I'm going to show you how to apply tangent mate for flat face and cylindrical face and cylindrical face and cylindrical face and many more examples so let me st so let's start see before applying standard mate I'm going to apply parallel mate for better understanding So I here I have applied parallel mate to these two faces. See here. Now I am going to move this. Now I am going to apply tangent mate. See here. Click on this face and this circular face. So let's see what's going to happen. Since I have applied pa parallel mate, it moves exactly parallel to this face. These two are parallel, this face and this face. See, you can see the rolling effect. I'll show you in the other direction. See here. It's going to rotate. And it exactly meets this point. So I'll put it in right side view. Sorry. See here. It is going to roll in this manner. So that is the advantage of tangent mate. So now I am going to suppress these mates. So I'm going to show you one more example. I am going to unsuppress this slot. See here. We have a slot over here. So I am going to rotate this component. See here. Now I am going to apply tangent mate to this cylindrical as well as this flat. See here. Here I am going to flip this so you can flip over here so it moves to the other direction see here it moves along this this flat face see here it is rotating and it is moving along this flat now I am going to apply once again this tangent mate to both the components. Now I am going to apply to this uh, flat face and uh, this circular edge. See here. Now see it is in little bit in inclined direction. See here. Now it moves uh, along the this flat a uh, face and it rotates see here so in certain applications we can use uh, this tangent mate according to our requirement see here it is rotating and moving along this face Now I am going to explain with other example. So I am going to suppress these mates. So here I am going to hide this component and I will hide new component. So 
see here. In this continuation, see this is a circle and I mean this is a cylindrical phase and this is also cylindrical phase. So before applying tangent mate, I am going to apply coincidence. See here, this phase and this top phase. Now I am going to apply tangent mate. This internal phase and this external phase. See here. See here. So when I apply this uh, tangent mate, now it is going to revolve along this internal phase. See here. So when I see from top view, see it is going to move along this circular face. It is like a planetary gear. So we can use these applications according to our mechanisms or assemblies. So this where the tangent mate is useful. See here it is rotating as well as revolving along the inner circle of the ring. So we can use for sun and planetary gears. So this is a brief about tangent mate in standard mates. Thanks for watching.